Hi Sagittarius, Rose Burnett here from Mind, Body, Soul, Balance and this is your monthly tarot reading for June 2018. Now it is a general reading, so take from it what you will, use your own intuition and uh, guidance on what resonates with you and leave the rest and uh, if you'd like a personal reading with me, attune to your own energy and circumstances and the questions you'd like to ask on guidance for. I'll put the link on this video and in the description box below. If you would like to win a personal reading with me, I do run a monthly competition on my website. Uh, all you need to do is subscribe to my blog, which is free, and go into the draw to win a 30-minute personal reading with me, yeah? All right, let's get started with your reading. So first up, I'm going to pull you, we're actually going to do love and romance first. Um, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Heart and Soul deck by Tony Carmine Salerno, yeah? And this leads to your uh, heart and soul energy, what you need to know. So... All right, Sagittarius, let's see what's happening, huh? What is it that Sagittarius needs to know? <laughs> These cards are actually heart-shaped. They're a little hard to shuffle, I have to say. Oh, there we go. So you've actually got two that have flown out for you. So you can have them both. I'll read them both for you. Oh, beautiful. You've pulled this one, which is just covered in love hearts, I've got to say. And uh, you've also pulled this one, which is just so gentle and peaceful. It's beautiful. All right. So first up, let's have a look at this one and what it says, Sagittarius. Is, a smile fills your heart with longing through the magnetism of divine love. You merge with another and love becomes an all-embracing thought. By a touch, a word or a glance, love heals unites, transforms, and transfigures all things. This is the season of love, a time of positive transformation, a time of happiness. Beautiful. And, uh, let's have a look at this one. And what it says, Sag, is, this card signifies expansion and the accomplishment and success that comes with the result of doing what you love. You are creating something of lasting value that will be enjoyed by others for years to come. A strong sense of teamwork and fulfillment abound. Beautiful. Love to know what you're working on. All right. Let's pull you some love and romance guidance from the Romance Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. And uh, let's see what June has in store, yeah? What is it that Sagittarius needs to know? Mm. Okay. So first up, you've pulled heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Uh, it's about having honest conversations from the heart with each other about your feelings, yeah? So opening up to each other, being emotionally vulnerable, um, particularly if you're in a love relationship, being more open, sharing a bit more. Um, sometimes it can be quite difficult to be emotionally vulnerable if it's not something that you're comfortable with, but... Even speaking from my own experiences, right, it will draw you closer together and it will open up the conversation. Um, and the ability to talk about anything that's bothering you, yeah, you know, just do it from the right heart space, yeah? All right. You've also pulled release your ex. Time has come to cut those cords to that energy and clear your energy, yeah? So if you've been pining over an ex, um, you want them back in your life. It's time to cut the cords so you can let new love in, yeah? If you're recycling through old stuff from the past, it's only going to hold you back in love relationships or your existing relationship, yeah? Time to clear your energy. If you're not sure how to do that, I released a video. Um, I think it was either at the beginning of this week or last week, yeah? It's on my, it's on my YouTube channel, How to Let Go of Your Ex. Go and check it out, yeah? It'll help you out. Mm. Come out for a few signs. Um, it basically says very soon, clearly decide what it is that you want so you can allow it into your life, yeah? Uh, if you're dating and you've got a couple on the go, it's about making a choice, yeah? Or letting them go if they're just not lighting you up. Um, it's, also, it's also about putting out to the universe what it is that you want to draw into you in terms of a love partner, their qualities, what they look like their physicality, what type of relationship you want, what values do you want in a partner. Um, yeah. And if you want to manifest, the best times to do that is on a new moon or a full moon. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. When you release your ex, what's coming up for you? 
is a committed relationship that's going to lead to marriage, yeah? Um, if you're in a relationship, it's a deepening commitment of that, of that relationship. Let me know if that applies to you. If that happens, anybody get engaged? I want to know. Write it in the comments box below. Um, share it with us. We'll high five you, yeah? We'll high five you. Okay, what else do you need to know? So many cards going to fly out for you. Which kind of tells me that your energy is going to be quite high in terms of your love life this month. Oh, wow. Right next to the wedding card, you thought this could be the one. Yeah. You've met the uh, romantic partner that you seek already. Yeah. Wow. Wow. You've been asking that question. Yeah. Also says that uh, great love is worth waiting for. So divine timing is happening in your love life for those singles out there. Um, you've got everything here that says you've got a great relationship coming in. If you let go of the past, yeah? And uh, be open and honest about your feelings. Yeah, all right. I'm going to pull you some guidance from Nature's Whispers deck. And I was drawn to uh, this deck today because I just felt we needed some gentle energy here. Yeah? Well, let's see what you need to know, Sage. <laughs> These two are stuck together. I'm kind of, I'm kind of interested to know why they're stuck together. Let's see. Mm. There's a renewal of peace coming into your life. So if you've been worrying about anything, stop worrying. Everything's going to work out fine, yeah? Uh, beautiful. Oh, yeah. Why? Because let love be your beacon. This is why they're stuck together. Um, it's just a clear message to let go of the past. Lead with love. Allow new love in. Um, be honest with your feelings about love. Yeah. Own it. Know that you're worthy of love. Okay, I'm going to pull you some guidance from the Goddess Guidance Deck. Now, this is all about your general energy, anything you need to know in June coming up can cover all aspects of your life, yeah? Mm -hmm. Not surprised. Uh, Isis, past life memories are surfing, surfacing for you, yeah? So this is just old stuff coming up. It's time to stop recycling through it and let it go, yeah? Clear message, clear message. Always learn the lessons you need to learn in there, but let it go. Um, under heart to heart conversations, you've got hell, divine passion. Um, it's about being honest with yourself, being honest about your feeling, following your heart's desires. Yeah. Trust your wisdom, trust your inner guidance, trust your gut feeling. Lead from your heart space. All right. Mm. And you pulled green Tara, start delegating. So, you've been doing too much Sagittarius by yourself. Um, whether this is to do in the home, with family, with work, career, start delegating. Um, free yourself up a bit. You need a bit of time for yourself, yeah? Um, yeah. But two that want to come out for you here. Yeah? <laughs> Right next to that, you've got Sensitivity, White Tara. They're almost exactly the same colour, these two cards. Um, it just says that you're becoming increasingly more sensitive. So just be wary of the people you surround yourself. Avoid harsh situations um, and energies of others. Put healthy boundaries in place for people if you need to. Protect yourself. Um, often your spirituality is rising when it's happening. Um, yeah. All right, what else do you need to know, Sagittarius? Mm. You're going to uh, find some rest and rejuvenation, some great release in terms of any anxiety or worry out near water. Yeah, you pulled all those bodies of water. So it will help you connect to spirituality, but it will also just help you release and let go. Yeah, Particularly if you're feeling sensitive. Mm. And you've got Asura blossoming abundance coming, yeah? So everything you've been working on to now, keep working on it. Don't give up. Um, whether this is to do with love and romance or your career. Uh, yeah. Also trust in divine timing. 
It's also sitting under this could be the one blossoming. So it's blossoming love. Yeah. You're just getting started. Be patient. Don't rush it. Let go of control. Message coming through. So you've also got worth waiting for, yeah. Mm. You also pulled uh, Diana. Focused intention. So it's about knowing what it is that you want to achieve in your life, knowing the steps to get you there, or at least have the next step sorted out, yeah? Um, don't give up because it's right next to blossoming abundance, prosperity, yeah? So just maintain that focused intent on what it is that you want to achieve and you will hit your mark. All right. I'm going to pull you some guidance from the crystal reading deck. And I kind of love this deck because it just has just the most amazing energies in terms of anything you need to let go of, heal from, um, or guidance on the future, yeah. All right. What does Sagittarius need to know in June? Clear message, please. <laughs> Got so many cards that want to come out for you. Yeah. Okay, right under Isis, past life, you've got the master teacher card in terms of the awakening crystal around emotional healing. There's still some emotional healing to do. Um, this is quite evident, the fact you've got to release your ex, that energy. Um, but yeah, just clean up your stuff. Clean up your stuff, Sagittarius. Just old remnant stuff you need to let go of, not much. This is kind of all through your reading. Trust, pre-night, trust things are going to work out in divine timing. Um, trust in your heart space, your heart wisdom, because it's sitting under heart-to-heart -heart conversations. And divine passion, Pell, which is all about what is your heart's truest desires, yeah? Trust in the guidance that's coming from your heart. And be empowered. Be empowered in your love life. Be empowered in your career. Step into your power and shine, Sagittarius. Don't let anything hold you back this month. Nothing. Go for it. All right. Mm, very important. You've got above this is sensitivity, white Tara. Boji stones. It's about balancing your emotions. Yeah. So very important. In order for you to achieve what you need to achieve, in order for you to stay balanced in love relationships is to balance yourself. Masculine and feminine energies, your creativity, your emotions, your innovation with your rational side brain. Yeah, your masculine energy. This applies to men and women. We, have, we both have masculine and feminine energies. Don't stand too much in either one. Yeah. All right, what else do you need to know? You've called Amazonite life purpose. Uh, you're going to get more clarity about your life purpose, life path. I think you're going to get signs and signals that you're on the right path because you've got so much here about following your heart, passion, and blossoming abundance, focused intent. Wow. Not only have you got the awakening crystal for emotional healing, you've got deities, heart healing. Mm hmm. Um, the fact that it's sitting under blossoming abundance, which is um, prosperity, but it's also not giving up on, don't give up on love, yeah, because it says it's also sitting under this could be the one. Um, if you had some heart healing to do in the past, allow yourself to be open to the new love is the message, more than the heart healing, but don't forget to also just trust that whatever you've gone through, it's in the past, yeah? Step into new love relationships with confidence. Do any healing that you need to do. Um, not going to apply to everybody because some of you have already gone through it is the message I've got coming through that you're ready for love. Sometimes you've got to let the walls down with a new person when you've been through a lot, yeah? Particularly heartache, yeah? Just, just love yourself. Mm. and you've got black obsidian the shadow side this is about accepting the light and dark sides of yourself um, appreciating all that you are forgive yourself for the past it's also I'm going to say the message I've got coming through in terms of your career your life path life purpose 
is that when you go through transformation, you're working towards your own goals and dreams, people can arc up in your circle because of jealousy, because of envy. Don't allow them to stand, stand your ground, be strong, stand up for what you believe in your own values. Um, and if people are irritating you, look into that as to why they're irritating you, because often it's our shadow self coming out. We want to be treated better, respected better, spoken to better. Yeah, put healthy boundaries in place with those people. Surround yourself with positive energy. Okay, let's pull you some specific guidance from the Energy Oracle deck. Let's see what you need to know, Sagittarius in June. Walk away. This is walking away from the past. It's sitting right under past life and emotional healing. Just walk away from it. Sagittarius could be a message. Walk away from exes. Walk away from stuff you're recycling through emotionally to move on. You pulled a man holding a coin for girls. Some of you, this is the new love relationship, which is a guy that's financially secure, yeah? Um, I think the message I'm getting is that he's not that emotionally open, so you're going to have to crack through that outer shell, but he's definitely feeling it. You have to have the heart-to-heart -heart conversations with him to pull him into a place where he stands in his emotions rather than his rational side brain. Um, for guys, the message coming through here. And also girls, in terms of that, you've got trust there, so don't be afraid to speak up. Um, for guys, this is you coming into your own financially. Uh, there's a lot of strength in this card, a lot of strength. Um, and you pull the appreciation card, so... Uh, it's sitting under release your ex. I'm going to say just be appreciative of the love that you shared, the time that you shared. If it didn't work out, it didn't work out, yeah? Take responsibility for your part in it, but just be appreciative of the love that you shared. It wasn't wasted, regardless of the outcome. Mm -hmm. um, you've also, it's sitting under sunstone, empowerment. I'm going to say to you, appreciate the really strong parts of yourself because they're integral to your success, yeah? Don't play them down. Men and women. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else does Sagittarius need to know? Wow. Cool. You've got victory coming. So if you've been struggling with anything, stop worrying. You've got victory coming. If you had any conflict, it's going to be resolved. Um, been struggling with your finances, you're going to have victory over that. You're going to have victory in love. Yeah. You do have to be balanced in order for that to come in, sitting under balance. Also says clearly decide what you want in a love relationship, yeah. All right. Mm. Okay, you pulled out uh, your third chakra, which is Archangel Shamiel. This is your life force energy. This is your chi energy. Yeah, you're going to need it. You're going to need it. Um, you're going to need it to take on your life purpose. It's sitting under life purpose. It's also um, bodies of water are going to rejuvenate your chi energy. Um, yeah. You know, I'm going to share something with you. This dropped out before, but I hadn't quite shuffled, so I put it back in the deck, and it's just come out again, so it's meant to come out. Envy. Um, I was going to say to you, it's sitting under heart healing, so just be mindful of getting stuck into a negative mindset about being envious of what other people have. Um... Basically, this uh, when you have a look at this, you probably can't see it too well, but this woman is holding, she's holding like a bowl of pearls, but in one hand, she's just holding a single pearl, yeah. So it also speaks to scarcity consciousness. 
But outside that, through that open door, there's a lot of abundance happening, yeah? Um, don't be envious of others. Sometimes the material stuff, it's not going to light you up. It's also don't be envious of other people's relationships if you're not in a love relationship. Just work on yourself and draw to you what it is you want to attract. Also be mindful of people being envious of the transformation that you're going through and put healthy boundaries in place with people. Be very mindful of who's in your circle, your inner circle. Bounce some out. Give them some time out if they're upsetting you um, and they're envious of you, yeah? Just watch that energy. And just give them a little time out if they need a time out. Yeah, be beautiful. Angel of love, you ready? Uh, this is an angel holding a heart. Men and women, you ready for love, yeah? It's sitting under worth waiting for, which is also two angels. Yeah, let me pull it up. Um, yeah, look at these angel wings. Yeah. Divine timing is happening in your love life. Just know you're ready for love. Absolutely. Cool. All right. Going to pull you a crowning energy from the Kunyin Oracle deck. And uh, let's see what you need to know, Sagittarius. Have a clear message, please. Oh, yes. Okay. Mm. You pulled the book of changes. And I'm not surprised at all. Okay. If it's open straight to the page. Oh, yeah. Let me show it to you one more time. It's all about divine timing, by the way. I think of control. All right. Just like a beautiful but unusual melody, the divine plan is unfolding through your life, although it isn't always predictable. Kun Yin is guiding you in the right direction. Even if you do not fully understand what is happening in your life right now, allow Kun Yin to bless you with trust in the unfoldment of your own divine path. The book of changes is always at play, helping us find our way. You are just taking a smarter route to your destination. I'm just going to pull a couple of things up for you. You pulled Amazonite, the life purpose. And you pulled Freenite, trust. Yeah. Did you pull? Yeah, no, I was just saying if you pulled easy, that's it as well. No. Sometimes situations or circumstances occur that seem to take us away from our desired goal or cause us to question whether we need to take matters into our own hands to achieve our desired manifestation. Even if we do not understand why something is happening the way that it is right now, with patience and experience, the wisdom and helpfulness of a situation is often revealed and we can marvel at how we were assisted through the workings of a higher intelligence that we do not understand at the time. Just like an experienced guide on a mountaintop, Kun Yin has traversed the spiritual path over many lifetimes to arrive at her enlightened and compassionate state. She is very wise and she is blessing you with her grace. Even if that grace seems to be a dark cloud, a delay, an unexpected disappointment or even a wonderful new opportunity in a different direction. She can help you avoid pitfalls that you do not need to encounter if you trust in her guidance. She can read the book of changes and understands the divine plan unfolding through you to help lift you onto your divine path with the least struggle. Beautiful. You are being asked to trust and allow the circumstances of your life to unfold right now. If there are any delays, don't force an issue. Let it settle and sort itself out with as little interference by you as possible. You do not have to let anyone take advantage of you, nor do you need to prevent yourself from expressing your truths and feelings about whatever is happening. However, you are being guided to trust that no matter what appears to be the case right now, this detour or unexpected situation is a blessing from the divine plan confirmed by Kun Yin, assisting you in avoiding unnecessary problems later on as she corrects your life direction 
and helps you move forward with greater grace on your divine path now. Cool. There's a healing here, which is just an amazing exercise. Let's do it, yeah? You can come back and do it later, but what it says is, lie quietly in a darkened room and take your awareness into your heart centre. You can't just actually sit and imagine this, yeah? Imagine there is a light glowing in your heart and a divine path unfolds before you, rising up, winding and curving, sometimes unexpectedly, yet always bathed in golden light. On that path, you see or sense the beautiful, luminous energy field of Kun Yin as she tosses golden coins in the air and watches them as they land, laughing gently at the patterns they form, clapping her hands with delight. She sees you and raises her hand in blessing. Offer to her any situation or unexpected circumstance, wanted or unwanted, that is in your life at this time. Perceive her receiving this from you, turning it into golden coins and tossing it into the air, noticing the patterns as the coins land. She sends love to those coins from her heart and then returns them to you. Take them into your heart and know that all is well. How beautiful is that, yeah? And there's an affirmation here to finish off your reading. And what it says is, Beloved Kun Yin, thank you for your blessings of divine grace and assistance through my life as I allow the divine plan, the book of changes, with all its wisdom to simply flow with trust and faith. I now pray for the courage to trust in the goodness and assistance to see the beauty and perfection of all life situations so that I may benefit from it greatly now. Thank you for your help, Om Shanti. May I feel your peace in my heart right now, Om Shanti. Beautiful. Great reading, Sagittarius. Really good. Really great energy for June, got to say, out of all the readings, one of the best this month. Um, if you like this reading, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you've already subscribed, you're rocking awesome. Um, I do actually read all the comments and uh, I do respond. Uh, one disclaimer, if you're going to be negative, um, I'm just going to say to you, I just don't do negative on my, on my channel, yeah? I surround myself with positivity as a conscious choice, yeah? And uh, my mission here is to uh, raise the positive vibration of this planet one person at a time, and that includes my YouTube channel. So take your little negative butt outside, balance and ground it and come back and hear the message again yeah um and for those of you that are positive keep 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 going with it keep working on it amazing yeah um now don't forget if you want a personal reading with me you know what to do link is on this video if you want to win a personal reading with me head over to my blog opt into that and uh, you go into the draw yeah the monthly draw okay for now much love much light namaste